Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Road Trek 170. This great coach is one of the smallest one that Road Trek makes. It's actually under 19 foot, so it's great for an everyday driver. Let's go ahead and start up front here. We'll make our way around and then head on in. The 170 is sitting on the Chevy 2500 chassis, has the 4.8 liter Chevy Vortec V8 in there. As we make our way back, you can see right along the top here is the Carefree, a Colorado awning. Just touch a button, that rolls out, rolls right back in, very nice and easy. Of course, you do have both your driver and passenger doors to get in. The main entrance for the coach is right here, uh, and this one does have a third seat when you go inside, but we'll take a look at that in a little bit. Let's go ahead and come around to the back side with me. A couple quick things. One, this one is equipped with the uh, uh, Continental Spare Tire Kit right back there. This is great. It ensures that your spare tire will be in great shape, has a stylish look to it as well, and it's still very easy to access the back. Just pull the pin, this drops down, and you can open up both doors. Go ahead and open this one up for you. The bed is currently down right here. There is one section there that you normally fill in, but uh, this is a power sofa in the back. Again, we can see that when we go on in. But underneath, I do just want you to have an idea of the storage. There is good storage uh, underneath that power sofa. If you take a look right underneath here, this is where your propane will be stored. Nice and easy to get to there. Just undo those and you can get right to it. And then underneath is the hitch. Uh, that hitch is capable of towing a little over 5,000 pounds. So if you need to tow a trailer or uh, you know whatever else you need behind you, you can easily do that. Let's come around to the off door side here. Right there will be your fuel fill. Go ahead and open these up. You'll see this one right here has your outside shower, nice and easy to get to there. And then as we open up this other compartment here, and you will notice uh, this one has a couple different compartments. Right over here is your electric hookup. This one is your one inch macerator. It is equipped with the macerator pump. The control is right here inside the driver's side door. And then your valves, both the gray and black are tucked away right there. But all right, folks, that wraps it up for the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Road Trek 170. As I mentioned when we were outside, this is your power sofa right here. Uh, obviously, I currently have it up. You can have additional riders. You have a couple seat belts here as well. Now, when you are ready to go to bed for the night, uh, your control is actually right up here. Just go ahead and use that. You can move this. Cool thing about a power sofa is you can leave it at any angle. So if you want to sit back and relax a little more, you can do that. Uh, when this does fold down into a bed, it's going to be 72 by about 55, just so you have an idea of the space. Uh, on the side here, you have a couple different things. You'll see you have LEDs on either side here, speakers there as well. Uh, electrical outlet over here in case you need to plug anything in. Also, right down or right over here, rather, are some cup holders. You'll have that on both sides for your passengers. Uh, so that way, if you need to have a beverage while you're traveling, you can do that as well. Right up here is your TV. This is a 24 inch LG TV. This does run off of 12 volt, which is very nice. Uh, that is connected to your home feeder system, which is right up top. Both of these are LG products. Now this, uh, blue, this is actually a Blu-ray player. It is a smart uh, Blu-ray player, meaning that if you have internet access, you can access apps like Netflix uh, and other um, viewing apps. Right up here is your thermostat. If you take a look down below, this is your table. Um, the table does go right here. So this table is kind of cool because it, it tucks away nice and small. All four corners fold out to make it a pretty good size table. And again, that just goes right there, which is really nice, especially if you open up the back. You have a great cross breeze coming through. Right above me here is an additional LED light, as you can see, uh, and another speaker over here, as well as another outlet right there too. So uh, you have two outlets by the bed, which is great for charging cell phones, if you have to sleep with a CPAP machine, uh, something like that. Let's take a look up top real quick. Of course, we have our AC right here, light up above. As I open this compartment up, here is where the TV plugs in at. You can see that. Uh, this is your solar charger. This one has a 200 watt solar panel up top, which is pretty great. So that way you have that trickle charge to your battery. Then on the other side, this is a big storage compartment. If you take a look, this goes all the way back there. So nice and deep here, which is pretty cool. Self-supporting hinge, uh, you know, that Road Trek uses. I really like that as well. 
So let's take a quick look at the kitchen. You'll see right over here is your microwave. Next to that, you have a decent storage area. I like the fact they put the glass on there, kind of helps break up the wood look. Then as you look underneath that, this of course is your prep surface. Now you don't have a ton of countertop space here, but what they did is they gave you a sink top cover, cooktop cover, and an extension. So that way, essentially this is your workable countertop space, which does make it uh, fairly usable. We'll go ahead and open this up. Right there will be your faucet. This of course does raise up. Next to that, opening in the opposite direction is your two burner cooktop. Now over to the side here is your countertop extension. There is an outlet right here as well. So if you need to plug in a coffee maker, toaster, something like that, you have direct access. Then underneath the cooktop, you'll see pull out storage there. Three-way refrigerator. Go ahead and open that up for you. You can see a drop down ice box. Controls are right here on the outside, nice and easy to get to. Then you have additional storage over to the side and you have water heater access right down here. So let's take a quick look at the bathroom. You do have a mirror on here, of course. Uh, you have this handle here as well, which also doubles as a towel holder, which is pretty nice. Uh, but this is pretty neat. They have utilized the door here. You actually have two levers on the side. The first one opens up and as you can see, you have hanging space. So that's a great place to hang a couple shirts. You know, if you have dress shirts or nicer clothes, maybe some church clothes you wanna put in there, you can go ahead and put them right there. Then you open up the second latch and this gets us into the bathroom. Uh, so a couple things about the bathroom in the 170. Uh, so you will notice you have a little bit of additional storage right up here, which is cool. Your LED light there, of course, as well. Your hand wand is uh, sitting right up here next to the shower curtain. You can see where that attaches right there. They do put your toilet paper holder kind of high up and out of the way. Of course, your toilet's right down here. That's pretty easy to get to as well. Uh, and then right here, this piece, is this is where this stores. It's actually for the bed. It's what spans this gap right here uh, to help fill in that uh, area again to make the bed. Now, the way the bathroom works, basically you undo this right here, this little lock. And what you can do is you then move this guy over, kind of locks right here on the other side of this microwave, gives you a little bit of additional privacy. Because this is a smaller coach, they just don't have a lot of room to work, so you have to do as much as you can in the aisle way. Uh, but this way, you know, again, when you're doing your business, you have some privacy there. The shower itself, the way that works, you can see the curtain, it actually comes out into the aisle way. So this is essentially where you shower, put the curtain around there. Underneath this panel on the floor is a drain. You can kind of see that long panel there. You lift that up, there's a drain right underneath there, so that way all the water runs right out. Then when you're done showering, you need to dry it out, get all the moisture out. Just go ahead and turn on the fantastic fan there and it'll do the rest. So let's go ahead and take a look at our control panel right up here. Um, everything's pretty centrally located on the 170 which is nice one of the things you will notice is it doesn't have a switch for a generator the reason is this 170 is equipped with an under hood generator if you're not familiar with what that is it's something proprietary to road track and essentially it's a souped up alternator underneath the hood so you have your standard vehicle alternator plus an additional essentially alternator uh, that they call an under hood generator now the big advantages to an underhood generator, one, it's way quieter because rather than having to fire up your generator, all you have to do is turn on the coach and you have full access to everything in here so you can run your AC, uh, it'll recharge your batteries, everything that you want that a generator does. The other big advantage is it doesn't have the maintenance issues. If you've had a generator in the past, you know that you have to use it but can't use it too much. You have to kind of try to find that sweet spot. Not the case with the underhood. Uh, so it's uh, not necessarily maintenance free, but definitely a lot less maintenance for you the user uh, right on the other side here you can't see it but this is where the uh, sine wave inverter controller is whether you want to on or off this unit is equipped with a pure sine wave inverter additional speaker here and here uh, again for that theater quality and then you have an additional one right there kind of going with that whole surround sound feeling uh, let's take a look right down here this is your uh, additional seat right here so this you can have another passenger ride here if you so desire then across the way, you have some additional storage. Uh, this one lifts up just like so. You can kind of see the shelf right there. And then both of these open, you have this one here. So good storage in there. 
And then next to that, open this up, you can see you do have wardrobe. If you look right underneath here, you can kind of see a hanging rod. Uh, so that is a good place, uh, obviously, to go ahead and store clothes. You need to have a place to store them. There's also an electrical outlet up here. Uh, so again, you can't see it, but that's up there. So anything you need to plug in, you can do there as well. Now, one of the cool things about the 170 is this does have a table up front too. Uh, the way it works essentially is you have this. This pulls out just like so. There's a little lock here. You pull this table out, kind of sets down, and then folds right over. So that way, this table or this uh, seat can turn. You have the passenger seat. Everyone can sit here, play a game of cards, eat a snack, whatever they want to do. Uh, but it is nice and easy and quick to set up. Of course, you also have the table in back if you want something a little more permanent. Uh, but you know, for something quick and easy, I do like that this is here. So of course, both the driver and passenger seats do swivel, as you can see. Uh, if you take a look up front, you notice the cup holders there, as well as in the uh, center dash there for all of your AC, uh, your camera, and uh, CD player, everything's tucked away right there. Up here is additional storage. Now one of the things you'll notice is this guy, this is your table leg, uh, which again, this is for the table in the back, but it has, an, uh, excuse me, has a nice little storage spot there. Couple windows up top, let in some natural light. You do have covers for those right over here as well if you want to cover them up. But all right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Road Trek 170. This is the shortest Class B that Road Trek makes. Uh, it comes in at under 19 foot. So if you're looking for something, you know, you want to do a little bit more stealth camping or be able to drive it, you know, maybe you want it as an everyday driver, this is certainly one you want to look at because it is shorter. It is easier to drive, easier to park, everything that uh, goes along with having a shorter motorhome. If you are interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.